Hi everyone, today I want to show you this really cool battery that I got from eBay. It's an 18650 style battery, but it's very high capacity, 4800 milliamp hour, which is pretty much like the highest I've ever seen. It's quite incredible because this cost me around $1. And if you compare that to a Samsung 18650, this one here is only, I think, 2,300 milliamp hour, and this costs around $15 if you buy a genuine one. So to get 4,800 milliamp hour for a dollar is pretty darn fantastic. One of the first things you notice when handling this battery is it's very light. If you compare it to this Samsung one, which is quite heavy, this one's much lighter. So if you put this on a torch or something like that, your torch won't be so heavy. So that's really quite fantastic because it's going to be much more lightweight. So I've connected the battery to an electronic load and it's currently measuring 4.14 volts. So it has dropped a little bit from the 4.2 volts that I originally charged it to. What we're going to do is discharge the battery at a rate of 1 amp with a cutoff voltage of 3 volts and then measure how much power we manage to consume from this battery. I'm pretty excited because it is rated at 4800 milliamp hour. So let's begin the test. So you can see under 1 amp load the voltage has dropped down to 3.6 volts and we're consuming around 3.6 watts. So I'll leave this running and show you the results. It's probably going to take a while because at 4800 milliamp hour and a 1 amp load this is going to run for quite some time. Well this is really strange, we're about to hit a cutoff voltage of 3 volts but I'm not seeing the kind of capacity that we expected, it's only been running for a short time. Let's just see it drop down to 3 volts and then I'll read out the results. Here we go, and the load is turned off. So we only managed to draw out around 249 milliamp hour, although you have to take into account the voltage, or 820 milliwatt hour. Now, 820 milliwatt hour is much less than I'd expect for such a high capacity battery, because when I did the same test with this Samsung battery, I pulled out over 6,400 milliwatt hour, and that was at a higher current as well. So. I think I might have been scammed guys, I don't think this is a genuine 4800 milliamp hour battery at all. So let's crack this thing open and try and get to the bottom of what's going on here. And something I've realised is it's not a genuine ultra fire. Can you believe that? They sent me a fake one, that's incredible. Anyway, let's try and take off this label first. And then let's take off this little paper tab at the top. Now you have to be very careful when you take these apart because potentially they're a little hand grenade. And you can see this one does still have some capacity in it because if I short out the ground and the positive, there's little sparks. So there's still capacity in here. You have to be very careful when you take them apart. So there we go. We got the top cap off. And let's see if we can get the rest of this out. It's not quite what I was expecting inside, but let's try and get it out. So this is what we've got inside. I was actually expecting to see a baby lipo hidden inside, but it's a traditionally wrapped battery, except it's very short. If we compare that to the size of an 18650, it's like half the height, and it's very, very loosely wound. You can see there's barely anything there at all. So that's why the capacity was so low, and it's actually starting to get quite warm. So I'm just going to run and throw this outside quickly. So I guess it didn't work out as such a good deal after all. I thought I was getting a protected 18650 with over 4,000 milliamp hour capacity and what I really got was a piece of junk. There was no protection cell and it certainly didn't come anywhere close to 4000 milliamp hour. So yeah, just be careful about the batteries you buy guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.